You know that aggressive tumours can arise from soft tissue or bones? This is called sarcoma. While it's uncommon, it may affect a wide, diverse age range from young patients to elderly adults. Sarcomas comprise 1% of all adult cancer types, with the National Cancer Centre Singapore seeing more than 180 new patients annually. Sarcomas can generally be classified into four major types. Soft tissue sarcomas, gastrointestinal stromal tumours, also known as GIS, bone sarcomas, and adolescent and young adult sarcomas. In this first episode, we'll be talking about soft tissue sarcoma and GIS, short for gastrointestinal stromal tumors. Patients with soft tissue sarcoma may present with a large, painless abdominal mass, or, or they may have um, no symptoms and have this picked up as an incidental finding when doing an investigation for something else. Often after a complete history taking and thorough physical examination, it is still difficult to find the diagnosis and further imaging is required either via a CT scan or an MRI scan to determine where this tumour is from and exactly what kind of tumour it is. Sometimes a diagnosis can only be attained if a biopsy is performed and this can be done via one of two methods, a percutaneous method, which is through the skin, where an interventional radiologist using the guidance of a CT scan or an ultrasound places a needle through the skin to arrive at the tumour to obtain that biopsy. Alternatively, we may sometimes do endoscopy through the use of a scope, which is passed through an organ such as the stomach or the re rectum, and through that, a biopsy is taken with a needle again. Very often, the procedure does not take very long and may just be a few hours. After the procedure, the patient is often asked to stay for that day or overnight and can be discharged the next day if no complications has occurred. In some patients, radiotherapy to the operated site may be required four to six weeks after surgery to prevent recurrence there. This is especially so if the tumour was large or is of an aggressive type. The patient will first undergo a specialised CT scan of the operated site in the treatment position with suitable immobilisation devices. A targeted and comprehensive radiotherapy treatment plan then needs to be developed by a team of experts consisting of the radiation oncologist, physicist and dosimetrist. The treatment plan will be developed within one to two weeks. Treatment involves the delivery of therapeutic x-rays to the operated site by a machine called a linear accelerator. The patient does not feel anything during treatment, which takes a few minutes. This is done every weekday for around six weeks. Another kind of sarcoma is a gastrointestinal stromal tumour, otherwise known as GIST. GIST generally arises from the stomach, the small intestine or another part of the large intestine like the colon and the rectum. Patients with GIS may not have any symptoms at all or they may present with a mass that they have palpated or they may have symptoms as a result of obstruction or blockage by this mass. In that situation, they may feel full after eating or they may have discomfort, distension and even vomiting as a result of obstruction by this mass. Patients who are confirmed to have GIST are often treated by surgery, especially if the tumour is only confined to that organ. Surgery's main goal is for removal of the whole tumour along with the organ that is involved and it is important to ensure that no tumour is left behind and clear margins are attained. We give chemotherapy to some patients with GIST to prevent cancer relapse. This form of chemotherapy is administered orally and targets the abnormal proteins causing the cancer. This treatment not only delays relapse, but also improves survival. Other more common forms of sarcoma who may require preventive chemotherapy include osteosarcoma, which is a form of bone sarcoma, and Ewing sarcoma. We have come to the end of part one of our sarcoma series. Please join us for part two, where we'll be talking about bone sarcomas and Ewing sarcomas. To learn more about sarcoma, 
you can contact the National Cancer Centre Singapore at 6436 8000 or visit www.nccs.com.sg